Are Brent Rivera and Pearson Wodzinski officially dating? Did Pearson just go on a virtual date with six guys to put Brent in anguish? From love triangles to extreme displays of jealousy, fans of both influencers have been speculating about their relationship for quite a while. Belonging to the cast of Awesomeness TV, Pearson was introduced to Brent through a hilarious dating game. Their relationship advanced into a blooming friendship. Both are repeatedly featured in each other's content. However, are they indeed the best of friends? are something more than that. Hi, my name is Emma. Let's find out more about the particular hints we choose to ignore in the way they interact. Brent Rivera has been wildly successful in his endeavor as a creator, with over 65 million followers across all social media accounts. He grew his social media business for almost 10 years, entirely as an influencer, although he first gained recognition on Vine for shooting comedy and prank videos. Brent eventually transitioned to YouTube, where he grew even more. He now has 20 million followers on Instagram and 29 million on TikTok. He has seen a growth in his following every year since the dawn of his career. Rivera started Amp Studios with his business partner, Max Levine, to help his fellow creators in their dealings with brands. As a creative studio, the company promotes brands with their exclusive content. They help their creators collaborate with brands such as Coca-Cola, Disney, and Chipotle. Rivera said, What I want to do is help creators start their own businesses and grow their audiences. It's a cool thing to see someone go from 5,000 followers on Instagram to 5 million. My friend Ben Azelart did that in two years. It's so cool to see people's dreams come true. Eventually, in the following years, Brent realized his dreams of being an actor someday. Pursuing his recent revelation, he auditioned for the role of Alexander in the film Alexander IRL. Brent played the role of a high school student who threw a party in a bid to become one of the cool kids. Brent talked to Bustle about the movie. The movie has a coming of age age story, and it's about how young people today are so glued to their phones and to social media. Some of that is really great because everyone is connected to each other. Still, a lot of it makes it so that there are alter egos. You might try to be someone else that you're really not. Brent was picked by the producers for his appeal in the age bracket that the movie targeted. On the other hand, Pearson Wodzinski is comparatively a newcomer to the social media industry. However, her rapidly growing following has skyrocketed her success. She now has close to 500 100,000 followers on YouTube and 444,000 followers on Instagram. Brent seems to be why Pearson's social media following is growing so rapidly over such a small amount of time. So how did they meet? The duo met on a show called Date Takeover, which is a production of Awesomeness TV. In that episode, Lexi Rivera, Brent's lovable sister, was given the task of choosing Brent's future girlfriend. At the introduction, Pearson made a heck of a mark by having the cheesiest pickup line. She said, Hi, my name is Pearson. Pearson and Brent, you're piercing through my heart. I'm Pearson and Brent, you're piercing my heart. All right, there we go. <laughs> the intro was met with a genuine laugh from Brent and his sister. Looks like things started off on the right direction. As the game progressed, Brent seemed to be more attracted to another player named Courtney. Well, to be honest, Courtney had the best sense of humor out of all the girls. Golf cart technically is a sports car because it's for golf. Oh, it's oh, I wow. like you. You're wow, that was really good. <laughs> At the finale, Lexi chooses Pearson and Courtney as her choices. However, looks like a cat fight decided their fate. Lexi was intrigued by Pearson's ability to let go of the fight and be the bigger person, saying that her brother was stubborn and needed a woman like Pearson in his life definitely sealed the whole package. Aren't they just perfect for each other? How did everything progress from there? The dating rumors didn't start until six months after the infamous date game that the duo played with Lexi. The two had gotten closer over time and appeared on multiple collaborations in each other's content. This alleged attraction had definitely reached its peak when Brent let a coin toss decide how his relationship with Pierce would progress. Turns out the odds were in their favor. In a video titled, I kissed my best friend for the first time, which has accumulated over 11 million views, Brent finally kissed Pearson in front of a live audience. The ship has entered the chat. This magical moment led to the Pearson Ships Foundation, with fans overanalyzing their every move. In the video, Pearson doesn't seem too happy because she had to kiss one of her best friends, making everything even more awkward. But it does seem like their mutual friends enjoyed it more than they should have, LMAO. The duo has to satisfy 
satisfy the needs of their devoted, <coughs> obsessed fans, and decided to collab once again in July the same year. They were duct taped to each other for a whole day. They were forced into an awkward situation where they had to do tasks as a team. By the end of the video, it mostly seemed like two friends hanging together in one of the most awkward situations. I always carry a spare toilet paper roll with me. There. Thanks. You're welcome. Can you hurry up? I have to go. The Climax In the next month, Pearson made the worst nightmare of every Pearson shipper come true by introducing her boyfriend to the crew. Turns out he had just been a friend who Pearson had hired to be her pretend lover. At the reveal of this prank, Lexi, aka Brent's sister, was visibly shaking with anger. She said, it's not my brother, and you're supposed to be my sister-in-law, lady. Now that's dedication. Seems like Lexi is the biggest Pearson shipper after all. <laughs> But what's the problem? It's not my brother! And you're, you're supposed to be my sister-in-law, lady! What's going on? On a more depressing note, Brent has something going on with his longtime friend, Ava Gutowski, better known as My Life is Ava. In an interview with J14, she noted that, Brent and I, it's complicated. It's been complicated forever. It's so funny because everyone is always like, Ava, what's going on with you and Brent? Are you just friends? You can ask us both and we genuinely do not even know, she explained exclusively to J14. We just love each other so much and we know we're going to be in each other's lives forever. We're just having fun being together. Fans have been speculating that the two YouTubers were dating for quite some time now. They've certainly shared many ups and downs in their unique relationship and it's definitely complicated complicating the situation for all the shippers. However, I have some pretty good news for the Brearson fan base. Ava has just recently revealed that she is in a committed relationship with the photographer Olaf Stuberud. The two announced their intentions of posting intimate photos of themselves on their respective accounts. So from dating pranks to actual romantic rumors, things really don't seem to be going according to what everyone hoped for. The happy ending. Don't just lose hope too soon. Seems like there is much more to the story than meets the eye. Not only did Brent organize a meeting with his crush's father, aka Pearson's dad, he also made a declaration of love in front of him in one of the most hilarious skits. I mean, like talk about first impressions. Brent hired a fake cop to arrest him at his house for allegedly stealing Pearson's heart. He stole her heart. <laughs> aww. No way. That's so sweet. Can we get an aww? Later that same week, Bren Azalert, aka Lexi's boyfriend, organized a double date for the couple, surprising them with a vlog. It turns out, Brent didn't know cameras would be filming during their supposed date. This led to some pretty awkwardly hidden confessions. Moving on, would you ever pay for someone else's meal just for the heck of it? Well, unless you want them to love you, you would never do such a thing. So do we need any more proof than that? Recently, the fans experienced a heck of a betrayal from Pearson's side of the ship. Virtually speed date my way through six contestants via video and find myself a boyfriend. When she agreed to film a video on her blind date with six different guys. Ouch! Pearson personally procured herself a man by the end of the video. We do hope we don't have to see his face in any collabs anytime soon. It's like putting salt in someone's fresh wounds. Let us know more about your opinion on this matter down in the comment section. If you like this video, then don't forget to join the Tea Club and hit the bell icon to get notified first. Write in the comments below, I subscribed, and we will get back to each and every one of your comments. Also, share this video with your friends and family. See you soon in the next video. Till then, take care and stay safe. Thanks for watching.